Mobank, nouveau souffle pour les PME. Pour être compétitive face à une vingtaine de concurrents, elle s'appuiera sur 36 succursales, 50 guichets automatiques, 340 000 clients, 750 millions d'euros de dépôts et 825 millions d'euros d'actifs existants. What we really taken is we have taken two uh, small size banks and it is merged and today it can actually compete with the larger banks. So that way, even though there are 20 banks, the gap between the larger banks and the smaller banks are too much. And actually, Mobank has now become the third largest retail bank, which itself says that consolidation helps customers because we can have scale, we can provide better customer, better service, we can actually reduce the fees. So it is a, it is a good thing for the industry, even though it has 20 banks. Faire de Mobank la deuxième banque de Lille, c'est le rêve que caresse le ministre mauricien des Finances, Vishnuth Minaraidu. Et pour réussir, son CEO Srida Nagarajan préconise une stratégie à quatre volets. Retail is one of our top strategies because we are actually a very large retail bank with with 36 branches, 50 ATMs and 86 post office partnerships. The second one is SME banking. It is an important part of why MoBank has come. We will walk that extra mile with SMEs. It's not about just giving money, it's making them bankable. The third part is corporate banking of large corporates and the fourth is global business. So this is how our strategy will, will work out. La MoBank, rappelons-le, est le fruit d'une fusion entre la MPCB et la NCB. Ces deux banques sont plombées par des prêts toxiques et des dettes s'élevant à 943 millions d'euros. Un vrai gouffre financier. There was a particular amount of issue. The government, by infusing equity, has already taken care of that problem. We are focusing on the good side of the bank, and we grow the good side of the bank. We can take care of the problems of the past. We can even go in a proper way to restructure and even recover part of that particular debt. Si la MoBank compte bel et bien s'orienter vers l'Afrique, sa priorité reste le marché local. Mauritius is a hub for Africa, so going forward. We would focus most of our offshore activities towards Africa. MoBank at a later point of time will even look at having presence in very key markets in Africa, maybe South Africa, maybe Nairobi. There could be a company which is a holding company, it could be a fund company, it could be a company which is in the manufacturing sector. So global business per se, we don't look at sectors. The, the whole business activities is, looking, look, is seen as one sector for us. But first our priority is domestic. We will focus on business which comes in Mauritius in global business instead of going into Africa in the, in the first year. But it is in our overall strategy to look at Mauritius as part of Africa. I come from a background where I passionately believe in Mauritius being a regional power for Africa. So Mobank cannot stay away from it.